Hello again, Mr. and Mrs. America, Mr. and Mrs. Pittsburgh, and all the ships at sea. This is Scintillating Commentary. One month ago, the President of the United States said something crazy. That's hard to believe, isn't it? That hardly ever happens, except every 20 minutes or so. He said that we ought to consider ingesting the household disinfectant Lysol in order to combat COVID-19. As stupid as that may seem, he set a new precedent. Indeed, this is a new precedent for this president. It's an unprecedented nutty kind of thing. The President of the United States is publicly accusing someone of murder. On Twitter, the President of the United States is publicly accusing a former congressman, now television talk show host, of murder. Joe Scarborough is the guy, seen here with his lovely wife Mika. Of course, they co-host the Morning Joe television program on MSNBC. Long story short, a long time ago, Congressional aide of Scarborough was in an office in Florida. She fainted, she hit her head. It was a tragic, horrible death. Ridiculous conspiracy theories were floated that uh, he was having an affair with her and that he was somehow involved in her death. That's been debunked a thousand times by legitimate fact checkers. It's bullshit. Except if you're the stable genius, stable genius, I think maybe Joe Scarborough did something. I think he had an affair. I think he may have been involved in a death. I'm pretty sure this cold case should be revived. This idiot is publicly accusing someone of murder. Ladies and gentlemen, remember that time Millard Fillmore accused somebody of murder? Remember those two signs on Harry Truman's desk, the buck stops here, and I think that guy murdered someone? Of course you don't remember anything like that because nothing like that has ever happened in the history of the country, and hopefully when we lose this dumbass, nothing like that will ever happen again. Let me ask you a question. How much more scurrilous, evil, horrible, and awful does this human piece of shit have to be before you finally wake up and smell the incompetence and realize, I can't vote for this guy again. This guy is unfit to lead. This guy is unhinged. Seriously, does he actually have to shoot someone on Fifth Avenue for you to wake up and smell the incompetence? And would you even give a shit? If there is any justice in the world, and these days I really don't know whether there is, Donald Trump will not only lose in November of 2020, he will lose in a horrible and great for the rest of us landslide, an overwhelmingly ridiculous but wonderful and fantastic landslide which will show the world that we have indeed come to our senses again. Because if he doesn't lose and lose big, then the United States is unfit to lead. And when you look up unfit in the dictionary, guess whose picture you just might see? And that is scintillating commentary.